It's time to install the backup camera on the Ram 1500. This is the camera we've chosen, and I'll show you where it's going to mount. So we want to put it into the handle. This is the handle to the tailgate. So we plan to mount the camera right here, and you can see on the back of this, they give you conveniently a little circle and that's just about the size that we're going to drill. You can see this is the drill bit that came with the camera. We're going to drill that out. We're going to install this camera in there. Now, to get that out of the truck was pretty easy. There's just two. You can see there's two nuts that go, those two holes right there. And then we just had to undo clips for these rods here. And that came out really easy. So... We wanted to drill this in the right spot, so we're going to drill it where that goes. And then, if you look in the truck, we have the wires that come from the stereo installed that previously. So what we're going to do is go through the firewall. If you look up here, you can see they give you these two nuts right here. If you loosen them, you can see that it... It removes a plate that covers that hole that goes through the firewall. This is underneath the dashboard. So if you come out here, it's basically, this is the steering wheel right here. You go right underneath the steering wheel and you go right up to those. Anyway, you loosen those and remove that plate. It gives you a hole through the firewall. We're gonna feed the stereo, the backup camera wire through that into the engine compartment. I'm going to show you what the other end of it looks like. This is what the other side of that plate looks like. And you can see it's right to the side of your brake booster. This is your brake master cylinder. So right in here, that plate uh, covers the hole. You come into the firewall, and then what we're going to do is have to feed it down through this fender and get it down underneath the truck to run it to the back of the truck. We've got the wire run out of that port and then down the firewall underneath the truck to the back. We route it along their wiring bundle and then I'm running the power leads up here to the tail light. I've removed the tail light lens. The easiest way was just to remove the bulbs out of their holders. And now I'm gonna attach it to this bulb is the backup tail light bulb so what i'm going to do is use these little splicers splice into these two wires right here for both the power and the ground and then the other end of it plugs into the camera the camera we're going to mount like i said in there and if you look at the back of the tailgate you can see they already give you a hole right here at the bottom of the tailgate that we can route the wire out and then if you see there's a corresponding grommeted hole through the bed we're going to route the camera wire through there connect them underneath and we'll have power from here camera from there and we should be in good shape so i use those splice connectors here to connect the power and ground wire for the camera into the tail light and it looks like this then wrapped it with electrical tape i put a grommet on this hole here going through the bed so it doesn't chafe the wire and then we're going to feed the wire from here at the handle down in and through there this is what it looks like with the camera mounted in the tailgate handle and then if i come around the back side of it what you'll see is it's mounted in like that to where the camera's behind there. Before we put the tailgate panel back on and the taillight lens back on, we came in to check this. So that's what it looks like. It looks fantastic. Just the right angle. We didn't use any wedges or anything. The camera's just at the angle that that uh, plastic handle it's really that plastic faceplate around the handle is, and it's just the right angle. That looks really good on the stereo.